This is drone spraying. I'm gonna have to spray that freaking manually. We got a bunch of pasture ground, power lines, hills like crazy. This hill is bad. This is one of the worst fields I've ever seen. Look at that seat, dude. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We got the other trailer rolling up right now. Look at up, that. Up, up, up and over that. Look at that. Good morning. I'm Mike with New Ag. When I say morning, it is bright and early. I think it's like 5 a.m. We're getting the New Way trailer loaded up. We're headed out. We got a challenging project today. We got a bunch of pasture ground, power lines, hills like crazy. But hey, we got the T50, so I'm not worried about it. They train fall like none other. Check this out. We got the lights turned on. We got water with us. We got the DJI generators. These are the generators I love to run, have no problem with them. We got our pump on there got the in floor charging system with our batteries i'm telling you right now guys if you run a trailer you're gonna want to run the new way trailer because this is the best drone spray trailer on the market we got our dirt bike in case we get drones stuck in the back corner it, the whole trailer it runs as a system you gotta have the whole system to be efficient so that's what we're gonna do i'm fired up it, we got a lot of good stuff coming in this video today you're not gonna want to miss it stick around for the whole thing let's get rolling the sun's not even up yet but this is drone spraying start early in the morning work till late it's a short season but if you grind it out you can make some money so let's go We gotta stop and get everything fueled up. We're gonna get some diesel in the truck. We'll get some gas in the generators and then we're out of here. Sun's just now starting to start peeking over. It's gonna be a good day, I'm telling you guys. We just got here. New ways rolling up. Austin will be here soon. We got the other trailer rolling up right now. I'm telling you what, when you guys roll up in these trailers, folks will know you're serious we got austin pulling in right now he was out spraying yesterday he's got the new way trailer he's got his own touches to it they got sinks on there oh my gosh it's all kinds of stuff that they have on their new way trailer but that's why we made him we made the platform to be able to cover lots of acres put your own touch on it if you want to all right yeah it's a little chilly this isn't dangerous at all. It's these power lines. I know, I just don't like it. Do you try to stay at the height of your fuel? I try to like, yeah, most of the time I'm trying to stay at the height that I'm gonna spray. But like right here, I wanna kinda stay next to the power lines so that it picks up the power lines. So most of the time I try to stay at the height, like if I'm spraying at 12 feet, try to stay around 12 feet. That way if there's like a tree branch hanging in at 12 feet, I can see it. Okay. Where if, I, if I'm if i at 15 feet and there's something at 12 feet, I'm not gonna see it. Right. right now I'm out here boundarying this field. All right, uh, Jay is flying the T50 around the boundaries right now. He's almost done with the first field, getting those boundaries made. I got the batch mixed up. We're gonna send the T50 out here. Very hilly, sun's just starting to come up. What a beautiful morning. But really what this guy is trying to knock down is all the weeds and also woody vegetation in his pasture. So he's trying to get that stuff knocked down. That way there's more grass. Here comes the T50. There's a tree there. Right here, there's a tree. Yeah. Makes, I mean, the droplets are a lot smaller, you get more droplets, but yeah. I just upped it to 300. If it's not windy, you don't have to go too high, but right. I want to, yeah, it was, it was drifting a little bit. Oh my God, it's going to go back here and get this little piece. I'm going to have to spray that freaking manually behind it. Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. It's gonna go into that freaking tree. Let's see what it does. Oh, the big one. I'll tell you that. 
No, I did not boundary that out. It's gonna go over top of this thing. I'm hoping. Yep, yep, up, 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 up and over. Look at up, that. Up, up, up and over. That. Look at that. <laughs> that was. Look at that. That's what we're. That's what we're talking about, right there. That's cool. Okay, it looks way closer. Yeah, this is where it gets sketch when you're underneath the power line. You have to make sure your RTH is not like too high. So Austin's down here boundarying uh, a little section down here. We got 75 total acres to do. This is one location. We've got to move to another one then. But uh, we got challenge here. We got all types of obstacles. We've got this power line running down through here. Then we have another secondary line that drops in. We got the high tension power line. And there's just obstacles with inside of this field. These DJI drones, no problem. Get the boundaries built, get the obstacles built, and it'll still go in there and get it knocked out. Should be good to go. He's almost done with this boundary and we'll get him flying. Take off. <laughs> Look at that seat, dude. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Holy hey, when you live, when you live on the trailer, man. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. That's what she said. Hook me up with a seat like this. Obstacles everywhere. Yeah, yeah. How's this T forty handling? It's okay. I, I don't know what to compare it to, honestly. Are you flying underneath the power line? Yeah. That's fun times. Look at yourself. Look at yourself. Are you train falling? Uh uh, but the camera Every time it senses an obstacle, it goes yeah, down. Yeah. I've been just manually train following because it's so. Uh, I just been staying. Just at slow nine. it down. Where is that? Yeah, like right here. Just go to like nine or ten, and then turn auto obstacle avoidance on. You should have it here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, come on. And if you clean your cameras, it'll also do better because it can sense it. It's not great, yeah. but it's better than nothing. The T50 is way better. Yeah. And what's your droplet size? Uh, 300. Look, you can literally see the swath in front of the drone right now. You see that? Yeah. How the grass is laying down? Yeah. That's the swath. Yeah. It's like 34 feet. Easy. There's a guide wire right there. Yeah. Just a little train in action here. Oh, yeah. I'll take it. Oh, yeah. See, the, the 40 can do these things. You just got yeah, to yeah. know the parameters. So right here, you see that front bi uh, binocular vision? It's uh -huh. because there's probably little droplets on it. Yeah. I've taken like a rain x or like a wax and put it on there. And then when uh, that drops on it, it rolls off. It rolls off, yeah. yeah. If it senses the hill too often and it's doing auto obstacle avoidance enabled, like it's going around shaking it, now that you know the parameters, you could yeah. always shut that off if you needed to. Oh, okay. But let's keep bumping that up. Let's try yeah. 15. It's doing pretty good at 12. Because the faster you go, the, the quicker you're going to get that load off. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's see that. Let's see that. 14, 14. Oh, dude, it's, it's cruising. See, this farmer had no other option. This yeah. was his only option yeah. to do this. Yeah. He has a big spray rig himself, but he yeah. can't do it. Yeah. And see, by us going slower, it's actually blowing it down in there. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm gonna head out. I got a meeting to go to. Got the boys started here. They're getting it knocked out. We got the T40 with Austin over here working this hillside. He's got a whole new way trailer. He's got the whole setup. If you don't have this setup and you're doing your own brand, you gotta really check out the new way trailer. But Austin's gonna knock this out. Jay's almost done with that one. He's gonna move to the next location. I'm gonna go to the meeting. You guys are gonna hang out with them. Got some serious steep stuff coming up at the next location and really good views. You're gonna wanna check it out, I'm telling you. Anyhow, I'm out of here. It does. It's amazing how good these 50s are. I mean, this hill is bad.
This is one of the worst fields I've ever seen. Like, no doubt. Well, folks, we just got done. This was probably one of the harder projects that I've been a part of. Super hilly, blowing over trees, power lines, just the whole works. We started about seven this morning. It's noon now, about 80 acres. Just got wrapped up. Drone's got the job done. On the next one.